so we've got a dichotomy here. We've got, uh, for some, that last day and what it portends will be a day of sadness, of sorrow, but that last day can be a good and a blessed day depending upon how you conduct yourself as you live here on the earth. It doesn't have to be foreboding. It doesn't have to be sorrowful. The last day is a day that God's children actually ought to be anticipating. Ought to be looking forward to it. There's a text that Peter wrote in 2 Peter chapter 3 and talking about that last day and acknowledging that in that day, when the day of the Lord comes, as a thief of the night, the heavens will pass away with a great noise. The, uh, the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. So there you see, again, the foreboding nature of that day, that day of the Lord, which will be indeed the last day. But at the same time, while he says, when this day comes, the earth will come to an end. The physical creation will no longer be. But he says in verse 11 of the text, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, the elements will melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. 